Hey, actually, you sent this message a moment ago. I don't know what productive output comes from this. I just want to say at the same time as I'm doing a visual, what's on my mind. So contrasting live plan, and I'm going to take for granted, you know what live plan does and what it looks like with what I have in mind. A number of inputs can be configured based on a previous input. So let's take an example of a single input of what business are you in? And with that input, we might have the response of plumbing. So we see here a single input, which is represented by the square, the label, which is what you call the prompt, and then the response of plumbing. Now, let's look at live plan. Going to liveplan.com and logging into what I purchased as a premium account. Let's see, sign in as Peter Smith at Account Smith Software. Live plan has this guide section to it to step you as the user from beginning to end. It has here something that says problem we're solving. What problem we're solving is it's this large blob of text. So what we can do is from that initial input of plumbing, and I'm drawing now, so just bear with me. We can create some inputs to a business plan automatically. We can do something like problems we're solving in plumbing might be I'm not sure. I'm not a plumber. I'll say home repair. I'll say first pipe. Beyond that, you might see a problem we're solving in plumbing like the logical design could be in plumbing somebody's solving a problem very regionally like a drought ridden zone might need the installation of reservoirs I'm not sure And then giving those an input to the user to then contribute their own, as well as the options to remove them. So here, problems we're solving, they came from the user inputting plumbing. And then we've put into very specific data structure, possible problems, one, two, three, four, with an input for a user to write their own. Now that they've got four examples, 
I may spur them to give a fifth example that cleanly lines up with what we as the app makers believe to be a good example of a problem we're solving. Now, when we take this and we now look at the screen going to our solution, we see again that they come up with our solution and it's this reform text. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. I'm going to show this again now that it's larger. Take the initial input and then we come up with problems we're solving. You take the next one, you say our solution and we might have some non sequiturs if we have AI generate our solution based solely on plumbing. Now that we have problems we're solving, we can take those problems we're solving and generate some potential solution text. And that solution text might for home repair be a local fleet just something in the neighborhood for people. Uh, installing reservoir service might be a decade of experience or it might be we've got local inventory. We have supplies on hand, reservoirs to demo. The most leading edge of reservoirs, we'll say that might be leading edge reservoirs. And what we can do is break out the plan. Before it gets into a plan, as you, I, you might recognize, just from plumbing, give some suggestions, give some further suggestions, and go down all through what Live Plan does with all of its inputs automatically. When a user does something to change what was automatically generated earlier in the steps, that can then flow to the later steps. So we're making something simple by making a good guess. Live plan doesn't do it. They refuse. I don't know as a conscious choice or as a timing factor because what they've done and created has been so deeply invested in prior to AI. What they've done with AI is, and I mean large language models, and I mean the generative capabilities of what we all understand to be so innovative and unique. It's an afterthought for them. But when we make it a part of the very beginning, we've got something simple. It may not have everything that Live Plan does, and Live Plan has a lot, and I am impressed. It is a good product. Don't tell anybody I said that in public because I will say bad things about it in public because they are the enemy. So there you go. Maybe that gives you something to chew on. Okay. Have a good morning and a nice day at work.